Name and occupation, uh, Joshua Ergel, assistant football coach, uh, run game coordinator and offensive line. Here we go, put your, put your post foot on the board. Turn around and face me. Put your post foot up on the board, on the line. Post foot on the line. Well, I, I believe that all, all men the get, out, should get an opportunity to, right. uh, to chase their dreams. I'm a big Everybody believer in uh, uh, we live in the greatest country on the face of the planet. And every day we have the same amount of seconds in a day. And if you'll make those seconds count, you can achieve anything you want to achieve. Hey, be really quick. Tight hands. Go. Good, 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 solid punch. Uh, football back background. I, I began back playing um, in, in a small town, Brownwood, Texas. That's got a big football tradition. And I've won seven, seven state champions, and, and um, I've been, uh, I guess they're known in Texas. And uh, transferred to play for my uncle in Sulphur Springs High School, and that's where I graduated from in high school. And, and then had the opportunity to uh, go play at the University of Memphis in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, uh, Coach Shear, Coach Rip Shear recruited me there to the University of Memphis, and, and I finished up my time with, with Coach Tommy West and uh, enjoyed my experience there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, be great today. Be great today. If you came out here today, I'm coaching something role, I always really thought I would do. I thought I'd be a high school coach in, in the state of Texas. Uh, most of my family, my aunts and uncles and, and mother, they're all uh, educators in some form. Uh, most of them are teachers or counselors in, in, in high school, and then all the, all the guys are, are coaches. And so I um, always thought I'd go back that, that, that opportunity. And um, when I was done playing, I was able to, I was afforded the opportunity to be a graduate assistant at the University of Southern Mississippi. And um, once I got to taste the other side of the the whistle, so to speak, uh, in college, I, I really, I really took to it and enjoyed it. Hey, be loud on your feet today. Hey, be, be down on your hips. All right, let's go to work today now. Hey, if you came out here with the mindset we're going to be average, you got to freaking uh, you got to flip think, that switch uh, now. You know, my career's been, no been very interesting. I've enjoyed all right, all uh, you do is chase great a lot of the stops I've had. Set, and, um, I've been a head coach. I've been a recruiting coordinator. I've been an offense coordinator in call plays. I've been a defense coordinator in call plays. And um, to be a part of this staff and be around so many quality coaches uh, under Coach Healy's leadership, I'm, I'm enjoying coaching offensive line. I mean, I got my hands full. I got to get five guys going in the same direction all at the same time. And a lot of times for an 18, 22 year old group, that's pretty tough to do. And so um, I, love, I love the personalities of our offensive line. I love, I love their hard hat mentality to come to work every day, to be extremely physical. Um, to understand what it means to be a part of this, uh, to be one piece of this, this big football program and small piece of this university and, and uh, to work every day to be better. Let's go. Be quick. Be light on your feet. All right. Have strong hands. Austin Peay is, is a place full of unbelievable f uh, people that, have a, that there's a, a big time family atmosphere. I think when you walk across campus, you see smiling faces. Um, it's almost like the sun's always shining and it's never raining. I think that um, the, the, the support for one another and uh, the cheering on of other sports and other organizations on campus is second to none. Um, I can see Austin Peay stay blowing up and, and growing tremendously in the next few years and just continue to be you know, at the forefront of, um, of growing our student population in the state of Tennessee. Here we go, right foot in the middle of the board. Let's go to work, man. First sound. Sit! Quick rapid fire. Uh, oh, uh, I don't like uh, to Bible verse of Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you a future and a hope, and not despair and calamity. Dogs or cats? Dogs, definitely dogs. Fishing or golf? Golf. Favorite memory? Uh, favorite memory. I had the opportunity to go to Zimbabwe, Africa, when I was uh, eight years old as a young boy. I had an aunt who was a missionary over there, and I got to go um, see a lot of awesome uh, experiences. What do you want your children to say about you when all said and done? Um, that he was a man who loved his wife and he loved us very dearly. And finally, who was the biggest influence on your life? Uh, the biggest influence in my life is um, uh, a man who was my uncle, but he was the closest thing I had to a father. He's also my high school coach at Silver Springs High School, Chuck King.